Previously, on War on the Sea, Operation Watchtower. At 0142 hours on the 13th of August, Task Group 17, comprising of a heavy cruisers Northampton and Portland, and the destroyer Hughes were ambushed in a night attack by a stronger Japanese group, consisting of two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and two destroyers. Despite a valiant effort, whilst disengaging, the Northampton was struck by several torpedoes and her crew were unable to save her. The Japanese task group is heading towards Santa Cruz Island, and our air forces have been harassing the group for several days, causing damage but unable to strike a decisive blow. The following action takes place between 0700 hours on the 13th to 0800 hours on the 17th of August 1942. The Portland and Hughes continue to be harassed by the Japanese task group, sending up spotter aircraft to keep an eye on the heavy cruiser and the damaged destroyer as they limp their way back to the New Hebrides. Uh, we got a group of B-17s out here. Um, they're going to fly over the Hughes just in case the, well we know the task group, the Japanese task group with the two heavy cruisers is following. We've got a wildcat here searching. We've got the blackfish you, uh, submarine. Bring her down here as well. And we've got Task Force 13 which is our anti-submarine patrol. We're getting them out of the way. I do not want these guys to engage with the heavy cruisers. But we've got the B-17s coming up. Uh, and what we might do Let's get, let's go all in, get some Avengers up, and we'll get them heading towards the Hughes and the Portland, because we're expecting the B-17s to be able to identify where exactly the heavy cruisers are, and then these Avengers will always be in the air. And we might as well um, drop some bombs from the B-17s as we're there. We, it's very difficult to try and level bomb <laughs> moving ships. On the uh, on the sea, but you know we might as well drop them. Um, you never know. So let's uh, see how these B-17s get on. All right, see them moving up here now. We've got the Avengers taking off. The Wildcat's finished his uh, patrol and is heading back to base to refuel. All right, B-17s are crossing over our ships now. Nothing yet. Oh, he's following the spotter plane, though. That is a good sign. Continue to follow the spotter plane. These Avengers, let's let's put out on a wider mark. Okay. I'm going to bring the B-17s back. I think they're closer than that would suggest. If not, I need to get my Avengers back and refueled, ready to go when we do spot them. Okay, they're not there. B-17s, can you do a little search pattern here until your fuel runs out? Oh, more spot planes over here. You fly over the island, see what's see where they are. We've got the submarine coming down as well. Another spot plane. Got, they've got to be close. These Avengers got to be almost out of fuel by now. Where are they? We can maybe lead them in for the submarine. Oh, they're up there. Is that them there? Interesting. What do we have here? We have only the wildcats. Okay. Do you have enough fuel to get up there? I don't know if you do. Avengers, I doubt you do. No, they're returning. They're low on fuel. Okay. Oh, they've, they've headed back though. That's good. That's given uh, Task Force 17 a bit of a reprieve and they can get back as quickly as possible. Uh, we're day five. Day seven, we get resupplies, and then we can send some more um, engineering uh, resources, oil, and all that kind of jazz up to Santa Cruz Islands and get this into a stage two airfield. That will allow us to have some attack aircraft uh, bombing-wise. Let's get the Blackfish relocated up here then. 
they do launch a, an assault on the um, on the base, then at least we can try and finish off the the ships in the harbour. They have made it, but the weather is atrocious. Spot oh, they've spotted them, have they? Is that them there? Oh, they're behind us. Shows you how good I'd be. Right, let's plot the course, and then we'll plot. I run that way. Oh, there they are. Yep, there they are. It's very sensitive, this, for some reason. It's B-17F. There they are. Already making evasive manoeuvres. That's fine. We'll have a go. There's no guarantee we'll get anywhere with this, but... Got these aircraft, they're brave crews. We might as well sling in and see what we can hit if we can hit anything. Okay, here we go. We did come in from the front, but as you can see, evasive maneuvers have left us. Interesting. We're going for this one, so we might be able to get a lucky hit on the little destroyer if our bombs drift. And then the conclusion of that engagement. We lost a B-17 and um, well, one heavy cruiser's got heavy damage and moderate flooding. The other one's got minor damage. Oh, I think we might have clipped this one again. Maybe we need to start striking this light cruiser. It's got heavy damage and heavy flooding. Maybe finishing it off, that will lessen the anti-aircraft fire for the uh, any other attacks that come in. The Avengers making their way back to base. We've got four more B-17s here. Um, let's go with two sixteen hundred pounds arm piercing. Let's send them up there. You can just get a couple of bombs of those landing. That will do some serious damage. Okay, there they are. This is the second group of B-17s that have come up. The weather's a little bit better. Uh, let's have a look. We've got a wildcat in the area as well. Um, so should we go for this light cruiser? Well, this ship looks bad, Nick, as well. Uh, let's uh, let's target. Let's target that we got some 1600 pound bombs. Let's target um, the ships and let's come in. Get the Avengers up to try and target these uh, these two ships. Oh, it looks like there may be collisions. There may be collisions in their evasive maneuvers. The heavy cruiser is going to clip. Oh yeah, she has. She's just clipped one of the ships, and again, the light cruiser has clipped the destroyer, just over here cause utter confusion. This may help us get bombs on targets. Utter confusion. Look at these cruisers clipping into each other. Oh, that is devastating. Devastating hits. Devastating hits. Thank you. Thank you, whoever you are. I think that cruiser's in trouble. She's going down at the back. Oh, the B-17 comes to join us. Over here, we've got the light cruiser and the destroyer have come together. Both are damaged. That wouldn't have helped things. And this heavy cruiser... Oh, is she gone? Has she gone? Look at the damage. She's getting incredibly low. Flooding must be... almost unstoppable. Look at that. Water is licking over the deck. And I'm hoping if this continues to happen, she's taken more damage from this ship. And the fact that she can't get some speed up may, may mean that um, they can't stop the flooding. Although, 
all of a sudden it looks like they've counter flooded doesn't it it looks like the waves aren't as high all of a sudden and sadly we lost one aircraft once again one B-17 that we saw go down the light cruiser now is heavy damage and heavy flooding heavy cruiser number two has got heavy uh, damage and flooding the, the second light cruiser has got heavy damage and minor flooding um, oh, that's the, is that, that's the destroyer, isn't it? Sorry. Um, this has got moderate and moderate, and the other heavy cruiser has got minor and minor. So I think if we concentrate on two, we get them finished. This, These three are the one, two, and three are the ones we need to target to begin with. Finish them off. That will reduce the amount of anti aircraft fire any other subsequent attacks we'll have to face. Okay, at nine minutes past four on the 13th, we've had reports that um, the Task Force 13, which is our anti submarine. Oh, I see them. Torpedoes have been launched. Hard over. Right, I'm going to try and steer her between these torpedoes. And straight down the mouth of that submarine. Okay, you seem to be clear. seem to dodge that attack right bring up the control let's get you yeah you slow down let's get some active sonar pinging summers let's get you over here slow down stop well I suppose if we're pinging massively you're not gonna hear it but now Porto's come through slow right down Have a listen. Got it. Contact number one. Target. Right. Depth charge. Or do we... Hang on. Do we slow this one down? Coming in now. Gridley... Porter's coming around. Let's go for five seconds because she was close to the surface, I think. We s oh, she's right under us. Look at that. Depth charges are going down. Oh, it's close. Oh, this one's very close. This one's extremely close. Oh, that did some damage. Okay, Porter's done her attack run. She's not hearing anything because obviously it's in their baffles now. So let's... um. Let's come. Let's turn. Let's keep the uh, the knots down so we can have a listen to the. There she is. Okay, Sommers. Target one. An attack. Gridley. Target. No, oh, it's gone. Hey, Sommers is coming around, having a listen. We we see it. We see it. Right. Depth 100 and oh, he's coming, coming shallow. Let's speed up then. He might be coming to do a torpedo attack. Porter, get moving. So type B. Oh, we lost her again. I wonder if that's with the porter turning and making a bit more noise. 
Got to Oh, she surfaced. And she's firing her gun at us. That's incredible. Target that. Attack. Gridley. Target. Attack. Annihilator. So, the after action reports. Uh, minor damage to the summers caused by the deck gun of the Type B submarine. However, thankfully, we were. I think Porter managed to get a depth charge um, to cause significant damage, causing her to surface the boat. And then all the destroyers just piled in with their guns. And we sunk her for 13. for 3,650 tons. Sorry. Six command points gained. Nice. They've done exactly what they were designed to do. Hunt submarines. Meanwhile, Task Force 17, Portland and Hughes have made it back to New Hebrides. So, um, can we get you rearmed and Hughes? Can we get you um, rearmed? Yeah, as well. Uh, release for repair. There we go. But yet again. Further incidents around our anti-submarine patrol, Task Force 13. Let's keep our eyes open. Can we see any torpedoes? Yes, torpedoes have been launched. Uh, I'm going to move you hard to port. Now, Summers, I'm going to move you bring you up there. I'm going to get these two. There you go. Turn away and we'll, we'll do a loop and we'll come back. Meanwhile, Summers we're going to send up there. Get the Summers moving up there. Gridley, we don't, let's say we're just putting these in a turn. I'll get you moving up there as well. And Porter... Uh, what are you doing? You are you are countermanding my command. She's now put you in a really difficult position. Right, you, you idiot! Right, you straighten up. There we go. And hold that course. Slow down. And those torpedoes should go past. What were you doing? Porter. Got excited about the last time. Right, Summers is moving up there. Slow down, so you need to start listening. Ridley is now coming around as well. Now, Porter. We should be okay. Okay, torpedoes dodged. Let's turn and face that way. Right, now, heading out to Summers. She's the lead hunter here. We've got active sonar pinging. There we are. Gridley. Navigate to the nose. Thank you. And Porter. We've lost that. Right, navigate up there somewhere. We're hunting you. Okay, the summer is roughly in the position. I think she, the U boat was last spotted. Obviously, we don't get to see her until. Ah, there she is. Right. Speed up. 
she's dead ahead apparently. Can we see him now that we spotted her? Is she appearing? Don't know. Anyway, let's get these. Well, she is at 246 feet. So let's drop that down, say, 10 seconds. Still don't see her. Type B again. She's still at 246 feet depth. Heading 258. Got a good solution on her now. Mark the attack. Summers to attack quarter. Can you see it? Target that. Get up here. And Grindley is on the way as well. Right. Summers is going into her attack moves. Straight over her, apparently. Oh, there she is. Step charges in the water. doing depth charge coming right down on top of her oh you're lucky that time ten seconds was about right though that's what we continued our ten seconds don't know if they actually dropped them at that or that was the Right, Summers is coming around. We've targeted it again. Grindley. Target that. Building up a solution now. Grindley's coming in for his their attack run. Okay, here comes the Grindley. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Torpedo. Sorry, depth charge has been dispatched into the water now. Charge is coming down. One on the far side. Oh, she got lucky again. Okay, Grindley's having a go. Right, Porter's coming in next. What I might do is take control of Porter myself. Get the uh, the orders up. Uh, so depth charges, let's drop that down a little bit more, 146, 12 seconds, we'll go for a full three, let's give a little bit of starboard rudder, hold here, fire. Definitely damage to the rear of that submarine. Nice. Right, let's keep an eye on her. She's oh she's dropping. She's dropping like a stone. I think she's gone. I think she's gone. Emergency blow. Yep, she's coming to the surface. Right. Summers. All right, let's prepare for this. Uh, full stop. Target that. Grindley. Full stop. Target you. Okay, well it seems 
That Type B did not have enough air to uh, surface the boat. So she blew all ballast and uh, unfortunately she didn't make it to the surface and she's now um, she's gone. She's sunk beneath the depths. Another kill for our anti-submarine group. That is fantastic. They are really proving their, um, their worth really. So in the after action report, again, all our destroyers done well. The Type B U-boat sunk for 3,650 tons. Another six command points and another U-boat. Japanese Imperial submarine has been sunk. Okay, we've got a lone aircraft. That's Guadalcanal over there. And look, they've spotted some ships over here. Well, who are these? Are these coming towards us? Light cruisers, destroyers. Hang on, is this the group? Have this, has this group gone back for a repair? It's the same group. Okay. Um, there's no need to engage. You've spotted them, which is the important thing. We'll get that radio back. Let's see some. Almost four o'clock on the 14th of August. Okay, that information is critical. So these ships could be heading back to Santa Cruz Island. So we'll get our U-boat Blackfish positioned to intercept this task group. I'm not sure if that is the task group that we've been hunting since the last engagement uh, yesterday, but it seems to be the same makeup. However, those ships seem to be in um, ship shape in Bristol fashion, so no damage on them. So that could be a second group made up of a similar uh, ship constitution. So we're going to get these guys back out and um, prepare for this task group to come to our waters. Okay, guys, on half past one on the 15th, we've got another patrol. And look what they have just spotted. That is a major task force with cargo ships as well. So we've got two heavy cruisers, two destroyers, and cargo ships. Well, uh, I'm wondering, we've reported this in, if we target the cargo ship at the end, uh, we might be able to do some damage with um, strafing runs. That may slow the entire convoy down. Obviously, we don't want to attack those front four ships. But yeah, if we maybe snag this one at the end. We'll wait till we're past the guns of them. And then we'll swing in late. No fire from the guns yet. Right, okay, here we come. See the white flashes in a second with the guns start launching at us. There they go. Okay, we won't try that again. That was um, probably a little bit too risky. He's okay. He's okay. He managed, he's got a bit of damage. Engine's a bit hot, smoking a little bit, but we've um, we've managed to survive that. We'll get him back to base. Continue to weave, uh, and hopefully we can um, get uh, an attack inbound for this group. Yeah, so that strafing attack only did minor damage to the transport ship, so it probably wasn't worth it in the end. At 2.28 on the 16th, Guardfish and Growler have spotted a task group which they've been hunting for. Let's get the scope up. There they are. 
light cruisers, heavy cruisers, destroyers at the rear. See, same, same makeup, isn't it? So if we target one, which is this one here, uh, this one here, and then we'll ask Growler to target two. Building up a good solution. Boa class. Okay. Um, full spread again. We'll only go for a 5% spread. Got a 99% solution. Let's fire. Ground is the same, we'll fire. What are we? 299 feet. Let's get down to that as quick as we can. There we go. Uh, scope down. Oh, scope down. Silent running. Get out of dodge. Get out, get out of dodge. My guardfish is a little bit closer. Are you also, yeah, 200 feet, that's good. Let's get down there. Scope down, go silent running, and again. Move away. Okay, they've spotted those torpedoes and they've sped up, and they have missed. And they're scattering. But we've got another group of torpedoes coming in there. So they've split the two ships. With a 99% solution, we were hopeful, but where's the uh, where's the second group of torpedoes? Am I blind? Ah, oh, there they are. Oh, couldn't see them for a moment. Ah, we could be on target. Yes, these are looking very good. Oh, they're going to fall behind the speed of the ship, I think. We might be able to get... No. One snag. Dud. One hit. Two hits. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. I'd settle for that. I know that sounds really pessimistic, but... We haven't had much luck with the torpedoes. Now this light cruiser over here doing a dance fantastic. I think he's got away from the torpedoes, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Let's bring up the... Yeah, okay, he's safe. Guardfish, however, it could be in a bit of trouble. We've got the two destroyers honing in on us. Meanwhile, that heavy cruiser... She's still going. Let's uh, rig or release from silent running so we can get going. They've got us on active anyway, so. Oh, we've accidentally steered straight into Growler as well, which they won't thank us for. Death charge in the water. Oh, second one coming in. Right, change our depth. Oh, this is not looking good. Worry, worrisome. By changing our depth, hopefully they'll um, detonate once they've gone past us. Oh God, here they come.
you're just trying to be quiet and go quietly. We've got a ship coming straight for us, right? Again. Let's bring her up. Hard to starboard. I see. Are we worth just trying to run under her? We're not going to be able to turn that sharply. See the depth charges. Down to one ninety again. Slow down as we're in there. They're baffles, and we'll head south. For silence. Oh, here comes the second one. How's Guardfish doing? Seems to be making a good run run for it. Let's just steer away from them for the moment. We don't want to get caught in any more depth charging. Yeah, I feel sorry for Growler. She was making her way, and Guardfish kind of um, did some. That is right on our level. Oh, hello. Oh, I think we're good, actually. Guardfish, you can make a run for it now, I think. Okay, they're coming to Let's go speed up. And also turning to starboard as well. To cut straight across their path. Right. Rudder of midships. Come shallow again. Hello, sunshine. Oh, we're going to have a collision. Oh, the shadows. There may be a bit of a bump here. Oh, they've just missed each other. Oh, <laughs> well, that would have screwed up their um, the depth charge attack that time, which is good. Here they come. Straight past us. We're hard to port. We're supposed to be diving as well. Are we diving? I think we are slowly. Let's go depth. Can we get a sneaky shot on this one? Ship coming in as well. Rear tube. Fire. Why not? What time? Too deep. Too deep. Too deep. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Rear torpedoes away. This is not for this ship, this is for another one. So, won't you dive? Scope down. Cool, we just saved the scope.
good news is this is obviously gonna um Okay, those torpedoes just went nowhere, but that's fine. Alright. Let's get down to 300 feet. Let's go. And thanks to the efforts of Growler getting out of there, um, our U-boats were able to survive and get out of the contact area. The Aruba, or Aboa, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, ship number two, the heavy cruiser, heavy damage, heavy flooding. The others, all okay. Okay, and you come through the 16th, towards the end, another encounter at Port Moresby. Oh, here we go, it's the um, zeros again. We can't send any aircraft up until 5am, so that's a pointless encounter. Uh, the good news is, our task group, 26, um, which is our supply convoy with our heavy cruiser and our two destroyers is halfway to Santa Cruz Islands where we're going to do some resupply and boost that up to a tier 2 air base which will allow us some attacking aircraft which should be great uh, and then we've got that anti-submarine patrol going around here now I may um, ask you to um, follow them up so I'll um, yeah I'll put you Like that we'll do some uh, anti anti um, submarine patrols there just to stop any problems with um, that group minimize the chance of getting them anyway uh, we've got blackfish doing some um, patrolling around uh, Rennell Island as well and we've got the task group group four who are patrolling around these islands which managed to get some hits on that heavy cruiser which is good plus we've got another u-boat group um, going around the Solomon seas up there uh, I've got some B-17s returning back from base, doing some spotting for us, which is grand. Okay, as air operations commence on the 17th of August, um, we've got our task group 26 is not a million miles away from upgrading that airfield, which should be grand. And I guess I'll spot a plane to go out for the day. Right, and as this nears, there we go. Right, can we unload the cargo? Um, unloaded all the car Santa Cruz, has it indeed? Boom! So we can upgrade the airfield to a level two. Now this should give us Avengers. Brilliant. So we can um, do some strikes from here uh, if the other group comes close, which is grand. Right. You've done a grand job. Um, head back to New Hebrides. Uh, for the next load, which should be day 14, shouldn't it? I think, actually, how much have we got here? Oh, we've still got 100 fuel and 100 engineering, so we maybe get that over to Rennell Island and get some Avengers there as well. And then we could strike um, at Guadalcanal, and uh, we've also got um, this island here and this one here. Santa Isabella. Oh, and all these. New Georgia. Um, Colombangara. I don't know. And Vela La Villa. Vela La Vela. It's a nice name. Um, which we can all capture, but I think we need to build these two up first. And then push on. Uh, from Australia, um, we can still send some B-17s out. We've got Wildcats and Avengers, of course, but that's all good. There's nothing in the uh, Coral Sea that we need their attention at the moment. But yeah, so we got our patrols out. We've upgraded our airbase at Santa Cruz Islands, which is good. And we'll make that convoy head back south to uh, reload again. It's been a good day. It's been a good day, hasn't it? We've um, we've sunk a couple of Japanese submarines, and we've also damaged a couple of their heavy cruisers. Although I'm really disappointed we lost that um, that first task group, but the the three ships with heavy damage and flooding, because um, I fancied our chances of finishing some of them off, but it wasn't meant to be. Another heavy cruiser damaged uh, over here. And hopefully we'll spot them soon enough and be able to send either the U-boats or further attacks in from the air. 
We have 26 command points. So, my loyal and trusted intelligence, Navy intelligence, what do we do? Do we invest in an aircraft carrier to bring the fight to the Japanese? Um, there are 130, so um, I think I've just answered my question. No is the answer. We could save up, but that's going to take a long old time. So aircraft carriers are probably not. What's battleships? Battleships 80. Maybe, what's heavy cruiser? We could get another heavy cruiser. Heavy cruiser is definitely a possibility. Um, or we get light cruisers to go with the heavy cruiser that we've got. 14. Uh, get some more destroyers, more submarines. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comments and uh, if there's some popular ideas then we'll probably drag those in as the uh, the naval recommendation for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying War on the Sea. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.